Bad dream. A uh, b. Uh, yeah, a really bad one. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? I was freaking being burnt alive, man. Hmm. I'm gonna be nice. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. Oh no! There's this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know, but they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all, not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told, but she wouldn't listen, of course, and as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. I guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. That's fine. Her name is Liz. What happened to me? Hmm. What? What happened to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... Hmm. I feel like if I say, all of a sudden I was in a field of barley, and I start describing the maggots and all that. So, oh, wait. The Queen of Maggots did say, it's like, oh, they'll try to be your friend. But to tell you the truth, that doctor dude, like, gave me, gave me pretty creepy vibes. For the fact is, like, a doctor right away, like, as soon as he's introduced- Oh, <gasps> shit! Spilt my tea. Um, considering that the doctor first introduced, he's immediately talking about himself and not the patient. It's like, hmm... I don't know. I find that strange. I find that strange where it's like, oh, they rather talk about themselves first than their patients. It's like, you you got something. You got something. Or you're just selfish. One of those things. Uh, I woke up here and I saw you. Okay, either way, this situation, I... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I woke up it. here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well... Your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But... Why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? Hmm. Well, let me see. Well, let me think about it. So, don't have a daughter. Random person shows up and it's like, hey, I'll save you. I don't know. After all the other weird shit, I feel like just like random person showing up and actually saving her just makes sense. I don't know. And they say daughter, so it's somebody who's younger than her. So I doubt it's like the Queen of Maggots just showed up, but it's like, I'm going to save you. So whatever. How long have I been here? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. 
That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Hmm. So that would explain why she's always in the room and also explain why she's very talkative. <laughs> ah. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. What? First you tell me that it's like he's a really creepy guy, he gets in your head, but he's a nice, but he's a nice guy, you should trust him. <gasps> Maybe that's it. He got into her head, and she's like, oh wait, never mind, I'm sorry, I meant to say, I meant to say, he's a good guy, you should trust him. Yeah, no, no dude, I'm not trusting him. <laughs> uh, uh, did you see this dot? I hope I can come back to these, uh these things because I would like to ask all these if I can um did yes. you see this daughter of mine no sorry Susan apparently she came in the ambulance with you but then she remembered something and had to go I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry of course she did she was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat um saving your life do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. Hmm, that pause right there. I mean, you have the cats. You have Teacup. Who is probably starving at the moment because you're not there to feed them every five times a day. Trust me, I have four cats. <laughs> I know the struggle. Tell me about yourself. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much, either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Really? You don't care anymore, but you just happen to bring it up so casually? Hmm... Tell me about this Dr. X. Hopefully it's not Xavier. Please don't be Xavier. Please! <gasps> Wait, a, g a doctor named Dr. X who gets into your head? It might actually be Xavier. Oh no! Can I be an X-Men? Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Shit! But everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often. Usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, cleaners, patients. 
He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells funny. Like formaldehyde? Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh, thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Hmm. Immediately red flags are going over my head like... It turns out his name is Xavier. Who knew? Uh... Damn. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Instantly red flags are going off in my brain. And I'm gonna say if we flash forward to the beginning... Like, to, with the dude... I'm, I'm assuming the dude that I talked to in the beginning is Xavier. And then this is kind of, like, the past. So, um... Yeah, weird smell. And it just so happened that he was, like, he was dating one of the other nurses. And he knows how to manipulate people to get them into... Get into their head to get, like, their core deeping things. And also the fact is, like, he's taking advantage of somebody who's unhappy. Yeah! Yeah! That sounds like a fantastic guy. Okay. T well, is Tell this me the same more thing? about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Shit, it is. But everyone the same. just calls him Dr. X. Okay. So, after that repeat. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Ominous. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I How want you, you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Want to wait, ready to talk. Hmm. Also, the fact, it's like he wants to help people, but you see that picture in the background with somebody's stomach ripped open? It's like, yeah, totally. Totally would trust this guy. Um. Wait? What if I wait? I'm gonna wait. I can't wait. It's the illusion of choice. So, wait, what if I just sit here, do nothing? Can I do that? Will he say something?
So I, I'm guessing that's a no. So what if I just continue just to click this? Or is it really, again, is it really just an illusion of choice? All right, whatever. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Duh. Yeah, I had a great dad, Noah. He wasn't a good father to me. Hmm. So, does the game give you the option because it wants you to be truthful? Where it's like, okay, it's kind of putting... Like, even though you're playing the character of Susan, it kind of wants you to put your own experience in it because it's like then I'd say like yeah I had a great dad you know what I I'll do that see where it goes I mean even though I just said I really don't trust this guy but it's like I feel like if I I feel like it doesn't matter if I like this isn't like a I'm not t like it's not giving me an option of like no I'm not talking to you like, it's kind of like, give give you the silent treatment and see what happens. But, uh... Hmm. I'll just go with it. Yeah, I had a great dad. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? <laughs> she was a horrible mother. I lost her when I was still a child. Oh, I wonder how that would option would be. It's like, I didn't have a father, and then I lost her as a child, so I had nothing. Hmm. I had a wonderful mom. I can't complain. My mom was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's Are enough you? about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Okay. Oh. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Okay. Pillow. Look under. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. But could be something to hide. Just, just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. Oh. Wait, wait. What was that? It's on it. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think of it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? 
No, don't want to lay down. Examine. The needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken, or maybe it just needs new batteries. Or maybe it's a texture. Examine. Full of latex gloves. Take him. Take a lot of gloves. Take one. Whoa, wait, band? What is the band for? Examine. It's a clip on hospital wristband. It's got my name, date, date of birth, and hospital number. Oh, use? Hmm, how can this help me escape from this horrible place? Give? There's no one here to give it to. So why is that an option? Examine. Single latex love, size medium. Use. Don't need it right now. Okay. What if I got more gloves? Take a lot of gloves. Whole bunch of them. Oops. I want to do salmon. Bunch of rubber gloves. They're quite heavy, actually. Heavy? How is bunch of gloves heavy? Wait, there's option... For the sink, turn on hot water. Uh, turn the tap off. Wait, what if I turn on the hot water and put my band underneath it? And then, hold on. Eh. Yeah. Use. Nope. Uh. Use. Uh. Maybe not, uh. Turn on the cold. Turn on the cold water. It's already running. Okay, fine. Be, be specific, will you? <laughs> be super specific. Turn on the cold water. Oops. No, no, no. Sink. No. Uh, glove. Use. All right, never mind. Nothing, none of that works. Okay. Cool, thanks, bye. Drug chest. It's a list of drugs for patient, for patient in side room two. Guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. Ah, damn it. Could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Take. No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers, especially chrysanthemums. Egg salmon. Bunch of chrysanthemums. I hate flowers. Okay. Smell. I don't like flowers. I don't really care. Okay, fine. We'll just not do that. Salmon. Side room two. This must be keeping another suicidal nutcase in there. What's the drugs like? It's a list of drugs for the patients in side room one and, uh, and some notes. According to this, her name is Anne Burton. 35 years of age. She's taking a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on top of all, on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. What if I just entered? Oh. Take more gloves. I've already one. got one glove in my pocket. Okay, fine. Don't take it. I'm not sleeping. <gasps> Ooh. Nothing underneath. Okay. Dirty looking pillow. The needles are stuck at 1140. Are all the clocks broken in this hospital? That is a very good question. Wait, what if I... Oops. What if I turn on the sink? And leave the hot water on? 
<laughs> okay. Uh. Why, hello, officer. Feel like talking to them is not a good idea. Or touching those. Not while this nurse is here. Hmm. I want to exam. I just want to examine the place before continuing onwards. It's a toilet door. Okay. Enter it. Hello. Inside. I guess I should wait my turn. Do do do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I guess talk to nurse. Look at. I bet she thinks those red ridden glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely, uh, completely dedicated to her. Huh. All, all too well. Completely dedicated to her job, yet totally brainless and close minded. Talk to. Is Liz, is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry. A lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can you return to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? How about you just forget? Uh, I'd like, I'd to, like go to go home. home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Hmm. Okay, what if I... Like, that's gonna work. Uh, make Can I make call? a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. What phone is being used at the moment? Alright, so she needs to be distracted. She needs to be distracted so I can grab these letters. I bet you anything that's the plan. And I gotta do that with rubber gloves. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I stuff the sink? Wait, 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 wait. I have a plan. My brain is working. No, I don't want to, uh... Duh. No. Duh. Use. Just stuff them in the sink. Like, stuff them in the sink. And then the sink will overflow, and then it'll be a problem. Then it'll be... Then while they're distracted, you go, Ha ha ha, bitch, I'm out of here. Oh. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. No. Bang that door down. Hello. I guess I should wait my turn. I guess not. Okay. Um. Maybe my room? Turn it off. And then take the glove. Oops. We are gonna take the gloves. Use. Okay, fine. Oh, I can lie down. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Okay. Look under. Can I... Okay, can I hide the one glove? Okay, I, I don't, okay. I guess I gotta try to escape. 
And then from trying to escape. Hold on, that's. Wait, this is just. Yeah, it's just a chart. Okay. So I guess from trying to escape, that's when. Like, shit happens. I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? These must be patient files. They are piled up on the desk. What if I take it? Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Me, 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 me